as we speak, we are uh, looking at 95% of all the votes that are counted. So it's a neck to neck race between Lola and Bolsonaro. It's, it's only 4% difference. But the, the conclusion we can already make is that there are not going, neither of them going to have a majority of 50% or more, which means that they need to go for a second round in the end of, at the end of October. So it's, it's really tricky. It's uh, neck to neck, as I said. Well, the funny thing is, and that's maybe typical for Brazil, uh, Lula, uh, as a, a next candidate, he didn't even come up with a, a program. So nobody besides the fact that he wants to deprivatize uh, state companies or uh, private companies into back, like Petrobras, the big oil company, he doesn't have any issue or program on healthcare, on, on education, on, on inflation. So uh, voting for a Bolsonaro is a, is a, a protest vote against Lula because they don't want to end up in the same situation. Like, 10 years ago when, when Lula was uh, in prison because of, of corruption and the bad economy. So it's one thing, it's Bolsonaro, that means the future of Brazil, but especially the, the, the Amazon rainforest, if he is, uh, if he is re-elected, yeah, we need to fear for the Amazon because he will continue his process of deforestation. Ah, se você não aguenta, vou retirar o final aqui. É, a gente pode levar minha mãe, a gente... Obrigado.